Okay, then I'm on my next little clip towards me, uh, my steam loco boiler, which I'm making. It's a miserable October, beginning of October morning. Chucking it down with rain, so I've come in my garage and I'm sorting uh, all my bits and pieces out for my boiler, ready to take to boiler inspection this morning for its first inspection. So, as you can see in front of you, I've got it all assembled uh, and I spent all yesterday getting all the uh, components lined up and positioning of the rivets which hold it all in position prior to silver soldering. Now them rivets don't actually do anything other than keep everything in line and keep things stable while you're soldering. Once it's soldered, the solder takes over uh, and and does all that job for you. So you're not, you're not relying on the rivets at all. They're purely and simply to keep everything lined up and in position. So yesterday, I've, I've joined all the components together uh, and I've put three rivets in the smaller diameters. So that one's holding the back head to the inner fire tube, them three. Then the inner fire, inner flange of the fire tube, inner fire tube, that's held on with three, um, I'm using phosphor bronze screws, not rivets. I've made some phosphor bronze counter, countersunk head screws. Uh, so they're holding inner firebox, inner flange. Then on the outer flanges here, the back head and the throat plate, I've put four phosphor bronze screws in. Then on the throat plate inner flange for the barrel, here, I've put four screws in that and got everything lined up before I position them holes. You must make sure that before you start drilling holes, you've got everything lined up to length and in position and and parallel, etc, etc, into the correct dimensions. Um, so I've got four in, in the barrel, holding that barrel in, and I've got three in the end, end of the barrel, holding the front tube plate in. I've put this spray can in, in front on it, just to give you a sense of scale, and I'll just give you a quick measurement to, to overall dimensions of this. So overall, it's approximately 21 inch, and then the height of the outer firebox is uh, uh, eight and a quarter inch and it's starting to weigh quite a lot now and I've not got the tubes in yet but I've got all the tubes ready I'm, I'm letting the boiler inspector check everything first before I go to the next stage I've got all my bushes made um, for my various uh, valves and etc I've shown you them in my last video I think um, and I've made some very tiny, I don't know if you can see them in there, I think I've shown you, did I show you making them, I can't remember, tiny phosphor bronze, phosphor bronze screws, which I'm using 6BA instead of 1 8 rivets, uh, got my steam headers made, for my, and when my steam comes through at the end, and my stays, and my regulator pad. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Then I'm going to get everything boxed up. I've got my tubes in this box. You can't you can't see that it's off camera, but I've got all my tubes bo boxed up. I've got my drawings boxed up, and I'm just about to put all this in box ready to take to boiler inspector. So watch this space, and uh, we'll see how we go on uh, up with that, and then I'll move on to the next stage if everything's okay. So. I'll catch you on my next clip then. Okay then, uh, I'm back from uh, my boiler inspection. Uh, it's good news, both boiler inspectors were uh, really happy with work that I've carried out on, on making boiler. Uh, that I didn't, They didn't find any faults with it. Uh, they gave me some good advice on what to do next. And my next stage will be to uh, solder it up to that configuration. Uh, then it'll have to be re-inspected by the inspectors. 
so they can determine that I've got full penetration on all my internal solder joints before the outer tubes go on. So I've get I've I'm given the go ahead to go, go to that silver soldering stage, then reinspect, and then once that's passed. I will be able then to put all the outer tubes on and all the fittings and, and finish the boiler off and then it'll need reinspecting again and then uh, once that's passed that'll be boiler complete. So yeah, I'm over at moon with that. Uh, they were really happy with work that I've done and uh, a bit of patience has paid off I think. Uh, so my next step now, before I do silver solder, I've just got to... Uh, ream all these holes out to the final size for my tubes to fit. I didn't do that. I've I've not done that. I'm leaving it till the very last opportunity to ream them. So it, I make sure everything's got good clean surfaces for when I'm silver soldering. So I've just got to do that. Then it'll have to be uh, took to pieces and then reassembled up to the first stage and then I can silver solder that so watch this space and I'll uh, I'll keep you updated <laughs> 